G'day, John for the Hot End. Today we're having another look at the TiVo Michelangelo. Okay, the TiVo Michelangelo. You might remember we, uh, we did a, uh, a quick look at the Michelangelo a little while back. And when we uh, get the impression that a printer is, uh, is going to be nice, we continue and we do a heap more prints and a heap more testing just to make sure that it's as good as we say it is. Now, I'll give you a quick overview of it. It's, uh, it's a TiVo, uh, which was sent to us by Gearbest. It has a print size of 150 by 150 by 150, uh, which is bigger than most mini printers, or I call them mini printers. They actually call it a um, portable complete 3D printer. Okay, but um, you, most of these printers this size only have a build volume of 120. This one is 150. So it does not have a heated build plate, which I find a bit of a drag, but anyway, this thing comes totally pre-assembled. There's no work to do, nothing. Um, all you do is get your SD card that comes with it, uh, load it up, plug it in, print. It's basically that simple. Uh, even the bed leveling is, is a very simple process. Uh, although some of the bed leveling screws are a bit hard to get at while you're leveling, but yeah, you get over it. So this would be a printer that I would say if you're a beginner, um, if you're someone that wants to get into 3D printing and have no idea, uh, this would be a good machine. Um, it's not expensive and it prints straight up out of the box. Now in front of me here, I have an array of prints that we have done on this machine. And like I said, we, we like it, so we've printed a lot of stuff just to see if it holds up in the, in the long term. Uh, and we've been using it now for a few weeks and we have had zero problems. Zero problems. You get, yeah, do I look like anybody? Uh, zero problems. Now, so we've printed in PLA, we've printed in PET-G, this one's in PET-G, you'll see close-ups of all of these models, so I even wrote it on the bottom to remind me. So it prints PET-G beautifully. This one is in a thing called Form Futura HD Glass, which I'm not sure what it's based on, I think it's a PLA based product, but I'm not 100% sure, so it definitely prints that. We have seen from other people that have used this machine that it will also print um, ABS. I'm not sure how they do that, uh, but uh, we're going to have a go. And it also prints flexible materials. We are definitely going to have a go at that. So once we've done those, we'll let you know uh, how it comes up. Now, apparently the, um, the Titan extruder setup on this is a full flow through I think they call it is the general term, which means that there are no gaps in the um, in the filament feed, which means that you can print uh, flexible materials and it's not going to bunch up and spew out and do all sorts of weird stuff. If it's got a full flow through system, then it should do flex, but we'll test that as well. So what else can I tell you about this machine? It, um, it has good components, good strong components. It's built very well. It's, it's quite heavy. Um, it doesn't use your normal Mickey Mouse end stop type switches. It uses uh, sensor end stops, which is good. I like that. Um, and the, the wheels and the tracks and everything run beautifully and smooth. It's probably one of the smoothest running um, wheel setup that I've come across. It's it's really nice. Now we have also played around with this machine with a Raspberry Pi setup uh, and it printed beautifully through a Raspberry Pi. Uh, 
it's not something that I know a lot about, but uh, our, our co-producer here has done it on Raspberry Pi and says that it, uh, it worked really easily. Now, the quality of the print of this, of this thing is as good a quality, and I think I said this at the time when we first opened it, it's as good a quality print as I've seen on any printer, if not better. Now, I've seen some pretty decent, expensive printers, and this thing will match any one of them. The quality, I would say, is, even though it's in a smaller size, the print quality is better than a CR10. It is better than a JG Aurora A5 and it's at least as good as a Zortrax, which is an expensive machine. Now, just to show you some of the prints that we've been able to get off this machine, um, a lot of these here have been printed at a 0 0.08 uh, layer height. Um, one, I think this one here, was printed at a 0 0.05 layer height. Um, this one was printed at a point two layer height and this one was printed at a point one layer height. Now there's a reason why you've got, we'll just cover him up, there's a reason why I've printed this guy and that's of course because the original was done by Michelangelo. So now Michelangelo has another way of doing things. We'll turn him around for the sake of discretion. There we are. Oh no, now he's got a, uh, it doesn't, yeah, anyway. So, the quality is fantastic. This is an example that I did. This, um, I can't remember where I found this, but um, it's, it's a really nice print and it's a, it's a surprise egg, okay? Now I printed this at 0.2 from memory, but I did print it scaled up. So I'll just open it. So inside you will see that has something special, which is this little guy. Now, because I scaled it up, you'll find that the tolerances are a little bigger uh, for the moving parts than it would normally be. So it's a little looser than it would normally be, but you can see everything works, okay? Everything, it's a, some sort of dinging machine. So that works, the wheels spin, the, the print quality is, is well, it's, it's perfect. It really is perfect. And that fits nicely inside the egg. So if you were looking at doing um, gifts for some, uh, some reason, that thing worked really beautifully. A lot of these other prints, uh, I think we'll put the, the links down below on where you can find the STLs for these prints, but they're fairly common. This one here, is a new one from Jeffro, which is uh, Conan. We've printed that several times on several machines and you'll see that over the, the next few weeks. Um, but the, the quality of these prints, like this one, for example, that was printed at 0.2, that had a lot of supports, a lot of supports. And they all remo removed beautifully and it printed really, really nicely. Does he look familiar? Anyway, so that is the TiVo Michelangelo, which is a, uh, what did I say it was? A portable, complete 3D printer. So I don't know how, mm, how portable it is, but it's, uh, it's a nice printer. It's self-contained. There's nothing else. This is the whole thing. This is it right here. There's nothing else. And I guess if you were that way inclined and couldn't go without printing something for, for a period, you could take it with you if you went on holidays. But I think my wife would kill me if I did something like that. But it's a great printer. If you're into fine detail, smaller type prints, really fine detail, excellent quality, it would be a great printer for you, like I said, also for beginners, it would be a great printer for you. Uh, and I can't recommend this one highly enough. Now, uh, Gearbest have a link for it down below. 
Uh, it's, it's not expensive. It's one that you can have as a, as a second, third or fourth printer, which everybody needs, of course. And I'm guessing that when we do our top five printers for 2018, which we'll be doing later in the year, I'd reckon this one will be right up there, but we'll wait and see. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe bell. Uh, give us a shout on, on Patreon. We really love our Patreon supporters. Um, we often have things that are exclusive to our Patreon supporters, so get involved, uh, get one of these, and I'll see you on the next video. What the hell is this thing anyway? God, it's got a face on it.